This May, you're going to be asked to vote for a new Mayor of London and people for the London Assembly. It's actually quite a strange election because despite all the hype, the Mayor has very limited powers. His main area of responsibility will be for transport, yet London's transport problems are not going to be solved by a few shiny new red buses and cutting fares. The single largest commuter group is the motorist. Over 35% of commuter journeys in London involve the car, and it's even higher in the outer boroughs. Yet the motorist is constantly being penalised. I want to introduce 20 minutes free parking across London to help boost local shops and communities. But funnily enough, this is not what is on the minds of Londoners as I go around London. They are concerned about the threat to their jobs. They're concerned about rising unemployment. They're concerned about housing and poor performing schools. These are the issues that really matter to ordinary Londoners. At the moment, bankers have a very bad name and there are those who want to bring them down a peg or two. We in UKIP understand that. But like the fishing industry, the steel and manufacturing industry before them, there are those who want to use this as an attack on our most important sector, the financial services sector. And remember, this is an industry that provides £65 billion in tax to the United Kingdom every year. That's an awful lot of schools and hospitals that are paid for. And if all the EU regulations and the financial transaction tax are introduced, it's estimated that we could lose 500,000 jobs. It's the jobs of ordinary Londoners, the secretaries, IT workers, cabbies, sandwich workers and retail staff whose jobs are under threat. Because the bankers, they will look after themselves because they can always move abroad. We've got a massive economic crisis looming which is going to affect Londoners massively. Up to half a million jobs could be affected by this. Yes, and Londoners are not yet aware of the full impact on their lives, but they soon will be. No, what I find people are talking about is the impact of open door immigration. It affects housing, it affects transport, and it affects their jobs. Right now, we have an influx of EU citizens and that's having a detrimental effect on our services, especially within this economic climate that are being strained due to this influx of people. So I think UKIP have the right idea when they want to concentrate on you know, regaining Britain back for the ordinary Londoner. Everywhere we've been, the reception is really good. People absolutely agree with everything that we're saying. It's really resonating with the people of London. Yeah, I'm not surprised. The truth is that there isn't really very much that the Mayor or the London Assembly can do about these very serious problems that London faces. But that's not a reason to stay at home. If you agree with us that mass immigration is leading to overcrowding in London, is leading to higher unemployment, particularly amongst our young people, if you agree with us that a blizzard of regulation that is coming out of Brussels is damaging not just the City of London, but every single small business in London, then please use May the 3rd to go out and vote UKIP. Make it your opportunity to put some people in the London Assembly who will stand up and be a voice for you and take on a political class who just don't seem to care about ordinary folk.